Thank you for visiting my channel again. Today I want to speak about something that uh, has helped me out for the last two years, uh, specifically with allergies. Now, when I turned 23, I started developing allergies to tree pollen. As the years went on, it got worse, and I ended up having to get cortisone shots so that the um, so that I was able to breathe and so forth. Um, later on, I started having to use a uh, nebulizer because my breathing, I was wheezing so bad that my breathing, uh, well, I wasn't able to breathe. And so, this is the nebulizer that I used to use to be able to, to breathe. Well, I don't use these things anymore. I was also used to walk around with a inhaler in my pocket because if you watch any of my videos you'll know that I work outdoors and especially during the spring I would have such a hard time breathing that I would have to every now and then just take a quick puff of my uh, inhaler to be able to continue so anyway I want to show you what it is that I do every morning roughly about the half hour when well, first half hour when I wake up because they say that the body's more receptive to medications or whatever the case may be but I don't take medications I don't even take so much as an aspirin really I kind of try to stay away from all I try to use more natural stuff now this is what I use right here uh, this is by a company online it's called Swanson I don't know if you can see that it's full spectrum turmeric and the active ingredient is curcumin but it's, it's a small quantity of it in there, but it uh, seems to help me a lot. It's an anti-inflammatory. A lot of people take this stuff, turmeric, they take this for uh, joint relief. And the reason for that is because it's an antioxidant and it's also an anti-inflammatory. Which, if you think about it, is probably the reason why it helps me with my, my allergies. As I mentioned, I am allergic to tree pollen and, uh, you know, the green stuff that I don't know if it's anywhere else throughout the country, but I imagine it is. But during the spring in the Northeast, I'm in New Jersey, the Northeast, um, you go outside and starting in usually in March, I guess, and it, and it goes all the way through June. And you just take your hand, you swipe it against a, a car or whatever. And on there is going to be this green powdery stuff. That's the tree pollen. That's the stuff that absolutely killed me for years. And so two years ago, I started reading up on turmeric and what it does and how it's a... Um, how it's an anti-inflammatory for your joints and I started taking it because I figured you know let me um, I work outside on roofs and that's nothing but punishment on your joints but then I noticed something strange now some, the one thing that I don't know if you guys know but turmeric is something your body cannot digest I guess is the word and so you have to take it with something else a lot of people would take it with uh, black pepper or well that's a little harsh for me early in the morning or you can take it with olive oil I use extra virgin olive oil um, the label is worn off but anyway what I do is I take a little bit I have a big spoon I don't know what kind of spoon that is but I take a little bit of olive oil after I empty it out of the two capsules into the um, onto my spoon and I just mix it up not the best tasting concoction I'll be honest with you but for the relief that I get from the allergies I'll take it it's two seconds of you know not tasting too good but the whole rest of the day works out for me and so I'll just show you my, what my routine is every day before I go to work and that's it. I take that. 
Let me throw the little gelatin capsule, empty capsules away. So that's where the turmeric comes in. Now the second step of it is, and I always like to have in the morning a cup of tea before I go to work. And so what I do is I, every morning I take a um, tea bag. This is just a regular green tea bag. We get it from a local uh, market around here. I put a teaspoon of honey. Now the one thing about honey that you wanna make sure that you know if you're gonna use the same technique that I'm using is you want to get natural pure raw honey now the stuff that you get in the supermarket most of it is not actual honey so you might want to go to a um, uh, around here is there's I live in New Jersey as I mentioned and I go upstate and there's Amish areas and they sell their natural raw honey and I get, you know, a couple of times a year, I pick up a big jar of the stuff and I keep filling this little jar. But how you can tell that honey is actually natural and not that brown sugar concoction that you get in the supermarket is if you look inside, I don't know if you can see in there, but that honey has crystallized, okay? The honey is crystallized. And if you can tell also, if you buy the stuff from the supermarket, it's just going to pour out. This stuff doesn't pour out, pour out. Now, it doesn't mean that when you first buy it, it's going to be like this. It actually crystallizes in the cooler air. During the summertime, this will turn right back to what everybody knows honey to look like. So one thing that I do add to this in addition to the honey is I take some chewable vitamin C's. Now, this I get from Rite Aid. I'm sure everybody's familiar with Rite Aid. You can get it at any pharmacy. Uh, drugstore type of place but these are 500 milligram chewable tablets and what I do every morning is I take four of these tablets and I have already plopped them in there so but I take four of the tablets and throw them right in there when it's piping hot when the water is really hot with the tea bag stir it up and I put a lid on it let it sit for a little while and then what I do is I take the honey, once it's room temperature, I mean, once it's um, warm enough for me to be able to drink, and I can tell by just simply putting my finger in there, I know it's not too hot. You don't want to put the honey in there before it cools down because from what I understand, the actual benefits of the honey uh, will be uh, destroyed if you put it into steaming hot water. And so I take a a little bit of honey, probably about that much, and I just stir it up. And I drink that. And then by the time I'm done finished drinking that cup of tea right there, it'll be time for me to go to work. And then I start my day and I'm fine the whole rest of the day. Now, right now, as I mentioned, it is May, and so we're in the heart of tree pollen season. And right now, I mean, I we, I woke up, I sleep with my windows open, which is something that I could never do before. And I can breathe really nice. So, you know, if this is something that can help you, I, I, I really hope it does. Um, you know, obviously you want to speak with your doctor to find out if you have any allergies to honey, maybe, to turmeric. Um, you know vitamin C what is considered healthy for you to take but what I do it during the extra uh, hard times you know when the allergies get really bad why well, allergy season gets really bad if I start feeling anything what I'll do is I'll take a cup of this in the morning with right after I take my turmeric with olive oil and uh, then later on at night probably before I go to bed I'll drink another cup of tea and then uh, I'm good. When I wake up in the morning, I'm fine. And I start the process all over again. Um, but this is something that really has helped me. No more of dealing with the nebulizer. No more walking around with the uh, inhaler. Um, when I wake up in the morning, I, everybody probably, especially in the area that I live, I don't know where how the allergies are in the rest of the country. But... 
I know when I first woke up in the morning, it used to be a sneeze. I would start sneezing and I couldn't catch my breath. You know, I would sneeze so hard I couldn't catch my breath. And then the nose would start running and then the eyes would start itching. I remember times I would come home after work and I would take a Dixie cup, fill it up with cold water and just squeeze it, put my eye in there and squeeze it to try to, because my eyes would itch so bad. I don't have that problem anymore. And again, it probably has to do with the turmeric because like, you know, like I said, it, and it's, it is an anti-inflammatory and it seems that allergies have to do with a, a lot with something uh, getting all inflamed inside your air passageway. And as everybody knows, your eyes, nose, ears and throat are all connected. So this is what helps me. I hope it helps you guys. I'm going to continue doing this because for the last two years I have not had any problem with allergies. I don't have any wheezing. I don't have the runny nose, the itchy eyes, the, the whole sneezing mess. I don't have any of that. And so um, maybe if it helps you guys, if you want to try it, like I said, speak with your doctors. If you want to try something like this, check with them. Make sure it's okay. It's not going to harm you with any of the medications that you may be on. Um, but this is, you know, this is something that helps me. Guys, I appreciate you listening to my rambling. Um, if you could help me out, subscribe, hit the like button. And if I can think of anything else that might be beneficial to you guys, um, I will go on ahead and post it. And if you guys have anything that can help other people, put a comment. Tell me what how you what you guys do to help you guys deal with the allergy season uh, this time of year. So, thank you.